Good morning, family. Welcome to today's Lessons for Life. Today is Tuesday, August 11, 2009, and today we're reading in 2 Kings chapter 3. And as always, before I begin, I encourage you to read it for yourself, see what you get from it, email us, and we'll put it on the blog. Uh, but as you read it through, you'll see the story that I'm going to talk about. Uh, and there was a lesson that kind of just stood out to me as I was reading it. And really the lesson was uh, how important it is for us to uh, keep relationships with the right people, the people that will help to encourage us, point us in the right direction, um, put us on the right path, and even uh, give us favor. Uh, you remember here that there's three kings that's traveling, and one king, the king of Judah, says, well, is there a prophet of the Lord that we can go and inquire of him? And, of course, they come upon Elisha. And then what Elisha's response to them is that, you know, he wouldn't even have spoken to them if it wasn't for the king of Judah, because the other two kings were not doing the right. But just because of the king of Judah's um, favor that he had at that point, and the Lord uh, recognized that, so Elisha actually spoke to them, and even throughout that all, they were saved because of that, because then now they had water, and they were able to survive uh, what they were going through. So the lesson, like I said, that we can get from it is to have the relationships with the right people, the people that will actually... Uh, encourage us to do the right thing. Like, like I said, this, the king of Judah was like, let's go find a, a prophet of the Lord, even though the other two wasn't really looking for all that. Then, also because uh, of the king of Judah, they were able actually to hear from the Lord and speak to Elisha. So, for us, when we have a relationship with the right people, you'll see that doors will actually be open for you. So, you want to maintain relationships with uh, people that are... Um, Encouraging for one, people that will, um, you know, point, like I said, point you in the right direction. And, you know, doors can even op be open through you having relationships with the right people. Uh, another thing that we can see from here and, uh, is just how even Elisha, the hand of the Lord says came upon Elisha when that the, the musician was, was or there was um, music being played. So that's even another lesson that we can get from that. Just in how different musics can uh, cause different spirits to come upon you, and it's talking about the the hand of the Lord, really that that being open to receive the word from the Lord. But it was because of that music that put him in that right frame of mind. So another lesson we can get from that is, you know, whatever music you're listening to, is that music putting you in the correct frame of mind, or what what is that music doing to you? What kind of um, spirit is coming upon you because of that music that you're listening to? So we always want to. Um, be mindful that the Lord is really in everything, in the, in the music, and you can you know you can hear God through so many different things. But be mindful that when you're listening to music, when you're traveling in your uh, car or whatever. So those are the lessons uh, I want to share for this chapter. Create yourself a wonderfully blessed day today, and we'll talk again tomorrow.